this morning with Leslie Chong from Imugene. Leslie, good morning. Hi, Andrew. But exciting news from you this morning, Leslie. Here, first patients, uh, they've been dosed in your combination study of vaccinia mast. Uh, just tell us a bit about the study. Sure. So not only has the first patient in, in the intratumoral arm, also we have patients on in the intravenous arm. So can you imagine we've got combination in IT and IV uh, with pembrolizumab. However, we have seen such early significant signals in the monotherapy. I'm just thrilled that we're dose escalating and we're also have dose escalated to cohort three in the monotherapy. So all four arms are going at lightning speed and we're seeing early signs. So I'm, I'm just so very excited about the study. Well, look, that's, that's what I was going to ask you. Uh, what signals, I believe is the, the correct term here. What, what are you seeing from some well, of the patients already in the monotherapies? So I don't want to steal the team's thunder because I, they want to be able to publish on this. And then also Professor Yuman Fong will be out here in March to perhaps allude or give a little signal as to what's happening on the study, because I'm sure he's going to be quite excited about his baby invention. Um, so I don't want to steal that thunder. And plus, it may prohibit us from being able to publish this data. But I'm hoping that we can disclose as soon as possible. Um, I'm a I'm a big advocate of get, getting things like this, significant signs on a cancer conference or cancer pharmaceutical world stage. So I'd like to get that published before um, I could talk about it. Just out of interest, uh, a, a couple of years back, wasn't a company in Australia listed on the ASX. So uh, they were taken over by a, a big pharmaceutical company who were also in the midst of their combination study. Well, you are absolutely right. And that was in 2018. My chairman, Paul Hopper, was also the chair of that company. So, you know, um, all things could happen. Mm. How's, how's the bank balance looking at the moment, Leslie? Gosh, uh, we have probably one of the strongest bank balance. We just released our mid-year and we're still holding at 160. 1.9 million, so almost 162 million. And you, you did mention right at the start, but some of the team there out in, in a couple of weeks, so you've got a non-deal roadshow coming up in the middle of March, have you? That's right. So we have Professor Yuman Fong, the inventor of our oncological viral therapy, who will be probably thrilled to meet uh, something like roughly around 500 to 600 shareholders at this this during the week and then we also have our non uh, executive board member Dr. Jacob DuPont who is also the global head of R&D at a listed company in the US called Atara so I'm thrilled for the shareholders to be able to meet them they'll talk on recent news along with uh, what's going on in the landscape and so I think we'll learn a lot and we'll have a really good time and how are you feeling so far as far as 2023 and the prospects for Imugene? Look, we've already announced that PD-1 Vax has the U.S. patent, which is the most you know uh, important um, patent to get. It's the biggest market. Uh, we are just generating some, um, like I said, very wonderful, interesting data from the mass study. We've got um, Hervax, you know, uh, with the uh, combination study with with Pembro. We've got another combination to start with PD-1 Vax. Um, lots of activity here with uh, Oncarlytics, you know, hopefully with the first patient in sometime this year. All these things are, are quite powerful news to us, and we're working quite diligently. Um, I think the mid-year also spoke to our expenditures, and imaging spends something like 11 to 13 percent on staff and contractors and that what that translates into most of our funding goes to r d so we're significant in our r d spend and the resources are are quite small in comparison to the work that we're doing so um yeah i'm quite proud of the work we've been able to bring out this year and and all the news to be uh to be had in 2023 Certainly, plenty happening. Uh, Leslie, good to catch up. Thanks very much. Thanks, Andrew.